What's up guys, Sean here. So today we have the newest gimbal from DJI. Are you excited? So DJI has been in the, the gimbal business for a while. Um, they started out in drones and they have, they've been, they're known for their cameras. Um, they're stabilized cameras on drones. Um, so if you think about a drone, it's pretty much a robot that suspends itself in air and uh, they've been putting cameras on these drones for years. Um, and the last several years, they've put out a bunch of gimbals, um, which is stabilized, um, kind of three axis, two axis, depending on the gimbal, um, as to how it, um, it kind of smooths out the footage. So you can walk around um, and you can you know, do a lot of the smooth movements that Hollywood does. Um, but in, in the palm of your hand. So they've made gimbals that have cameras on them. They've also made gimbals that you can attach your phone to and you can walk around with that gimbal. Um, but today, in this bag, I've got the latest gimbal, the new DJ Osmo. What is it, guys? So we're gonna open up this bag and I'm gonna show you. Last year's, this is last year's model's bag and I'm gonna show you this cute little guy. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's falling out. Horrible presentation, Sean. But that aside, this is a DJI Osmo Pocket. So let's get into it, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the park we're gonna vlog with it okay so it's already updated with the latest firmware um, and I just want to show you guys this beautiful little gimbal it's tiny I, I almost I, I want I think I'm gonna drop it it's so tiny no it's it's pretty hefty like it's you think of like a d-sized battery that's about as heavy as it is it's pretty much all battery. Um, there's components in here, there's screens, um, all that kind of stuff, but a good heft is gonna be the battery. So I'm gonna sit it down just so it's level. We're gonna turn it on. Ah, that's a cute little animation, guys. So what that's doing is it's calibrating the, the gimbal. So if you've never um, used a gimbal before, um, this is kind of in follow me mode, I guess. Um, it's basically following all of the movements that I'm doing with my hands, but it's doing them in a smooth fashion. So it's holding the horizon, but it's also pointing at what I want it to point at. Okay, guys? Um, out of the box, it's pretty great. Um, so yeah, so they're marketing this as a vlogging camera. So what we're going to do today is we're going to vlog with it. Um, so the first thing we need to do um, since the firmware, they've updated a lot of things this weekend, so I'm kind of new to the firmware updates, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go through it. Um, if you push it, if you double click on it, you're gonna recenter it, okay? And if you triple click, one, two, three, it's gonna flip around to my face. Well, right now, it's like looking up my nose. For some reason, it starts out in photo mode, which I don't understand. So we're gonna switch it over to video mode. Um, and we're going to record. Okay, guys. So now we're recording. We've got the... we got the GoPro over here. It's pretty cool. we got the... the big cannon back there. So we're going to flip it around. And now it's at me, guys. So you guys are looking at me. And it says my face tracking is on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit it down. We're going to see if it tracks my face. So I can move over here, and I can move over here, and it's tracking my face. I feel like it's weird at this angle, though. And I don't like the fact that a big gust of wind could come, o come over and just push this thing over. So let's put it on a tripod real quick. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the quarter 20. Oh, wait. You know what, guys? This doesn't have a quarter 20 mount on it. There's no way to attach this to a tripod. Well, that's the first issue. So 
Let's see what I got over here. Um, what I got here is this is a Joby um, action clamp. Okay. So what we're going to do and what this Joby action clamp does, it has these um, quarter 20 mounts on each side and it has these nice rubber clamps so I'm not going to damage my camera. Um, I've, got a, I've got other clamps that are steel and um, aluminum and, um, you know, even though this thing's pretty hefty, I still think it's a little fragile. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in this clamp like this. Clamp it down. All right, guys. Now we have we have it clamped in. So now we can put it on a tripod. So let's let's put it on my tripod. All right, guys. All right. Okay. Now, that seems pretty sturdy. Let's record. Now I think that's pretty sturdy, guys. Now I can put it back here. And now I'm a little further. Oh, it stopped tracking my face. All right, so let's center it. There we go. Now it's tracking my face. So, um, you know, if it doesn't start tracking your face to begin with, then just double click on it. I still feel like this is too close to me. So we're going to put it back here. There we go. Now I feel like it's a, it's a safe place where I can vlog from it. Um, so now let's talk about audio. Okay, so let's let's do an audio test. So right now I'm using my Insta mic. We're gonna go to the camera. Check one two. Check one two. Check baby. Check baby one two three four. Check baby. Check baby one two three. So what do you guys think about that audio? Um, is the audio good? Um, from what I've seen so far, the audio is okay. It's about like my GoPro. Um, it's just kind of tinny and. Um, so let's put some external audio on this thing. Okay. Um, so right now there's no place on the Osmo pocket to put, to put an audio source. So right now it's not available yet. Um, so the only thing I have, I've got this dongle. Okay. And what this dongle is going to let me do, I got to unclamp it and maybe angle it like that. Okay. And then there's a USB port on the USB C port on the bottom. We're going to put that on it. And then we're going to put this, put this in there. All right. And we're going to stop recording. And then we're going to start recording again. And the reason I did that was just, just in case it has to find the mic and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I didn't bring it with me, but um, I can mount my microphone right there. So, guys, this, this, this is a vlogging rig that can fit in my pocket. Check it out, guys. Yep. That's what we get. So... Now that we've got it set up for vlogging, we're going to walk around the park and we're going to vlog with it. You guys ready? Let's do it. So now we got this vlogging set up. I feel like this is a good distance from my face. So we should be good, but I still think it looks pretty foolish. Um, I've got the microphone plugged up. I don't know if this dongle will work or not. So um, here's an audio test. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Um, this is the audio coming from my external mic. So check one, two, three. Um, I don't feel like this is compact. I don't think that this is pocketable. Um, I think if they would have added 
you know, a tripod mount and made, given it wireless capabilities, then I think I wouldn't need all this crap to hook it up so that I could walk around and talk to, on it. But I feel like this is silly. I feel like people are looking at me weird. See that Insta360 up there? I, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Now it's trapped in my face, which is awesome, but I still don't think this is far enough. And I put it at a weird angle. So yeah, guys, just let me know if this is silly or not. I think it's silly. All in all, it's a really cool camera, guys. I just feel like there's things that are missing. Right now, there's sun behind me, and it's, it can't find my face. So we're gonna switch, we're gonna go around. There's my face. But tracking's all messed up. Let's see what's going on. All right. Now the face tracking's on. So I can move it over here. I can move it over here. Tracking my face. So I think this is about 80% there. 20% um, you can spend another 150 bucks and get it. I think it's on sale right now for 100, but retail price is $150 to get all the functionality of the camera. Um, I remember whenever I was unboxing the Paradinafi and um, all the DJI people were telling me how stupid it was to charge $20 for an in-app purchase and you know, they were all mad that that functionality wasn't out of the box. Okay guys, so all silliness aside, um, when you buy the DJI Osmo Pocket today, this is about the only way you can go around and vlog with it. Um, because um, the Osmo Pocket doesn't come, like these things don't come in the package. There's no way to attach it to a tripod. There's no way to attach it to a GoPro mount. There's no way to plug audio into the device. Um, so as a vlogger who wants a good quality product, this isn't the best yet, okay? Now, um, so we're gonna put that aside um, and I'll show you how you can actually vlog with it. Okay guys, so um, right now, December 2018, um, they have created accessories for the DJI Osmo Pocket, but the since it's so new to market, they released the camera and you don't have access to the accessories yet. Um, either they're still manufacturing or they haven't released them yet, um, but every accessory everywhere is on, um, is on pre-order, okay? Um, one of the accessories is a GoPro clamp that kind of um, wraps around uh, the Osmo Pocket. Um, and what I've done over the weekend, a lot of people are, um, I've never seen um, an accessory be designed on Thingiverse so fast than ways to attach my DJI Osmo Pocket to a tripod or to a GoPro mount. <laughs> There's literally, this morning, the, like it came out, this camera was supposed to come out Saturday. Um, it ended up coming out a couple days early, so it came out on Wednesday. And since then, there are eight mounts, and uh, oh, these are eight different um, users that have create, created three, 3D printed mounts for this camera. Um, some of them connect them to a tripod, some of them rest in it, some of them um, clamp around it and turn it into a um, GoPro mount and all that kind of stuff. Um, this, um, I printed two of them this weekend and the third one that I printed is still on my printer at home um, and I feel like it's gonna be the best one um, because it's, it's close to this one but it's a little bit more sturdy. But, um, so I wanted to show you this mount. This is a full on, um, mount that covers the entire device um, and this is solid so if I'm going to mount it to my Segway or mount it to a bike or something like that a mount like this is what you need it's it's rock solid sturdy um, covers the whole thing um, and I put it in it this morning but since it's so rigid um, and it might be the material that I printed it in 
but it was really hard to get back out. So we're not going to use this one today, but I just wanted to show you guys um, that I spent um, six and a half hours printing this guy. Um, some other guy probably spent eight hours designing it. Um, so anyway, so there's that. We're going to put that aside. Um, this is the second one. This is, it's not cleaned up very well. It's, I'm kind of rushing this video, but what I thought was brilliant, and I think this is how the actual GoPro mount works, except there's, there's clips together. Um, but what holds it is this little piece on your um, DJI pocket, Osmo pocket. So this is the, the cell phone adapter. Um, if you take this off and then you slide this on, and then put this back, all of a sudden that locks this mount in place, okay? And then we're gonna take our little shorty from GoPro. Um, we're gonna snap this in. And I hope you guys don't think I'm a DJI hater. I'm really just a user. Um, and I'm, you know, my job is, uh, I'm a UX engineer. So I'm a user experience engineer by trade um, and the whole, one of the whole points of my job is usability. Um, and I feel like a lot of these projects and even the products we're putting out at the healthcare company that I work at, um, you know, there's business decisions because we don't have time enough or let's, instead of putting that feature in the, in the software, let's make that an upgrade and we'll make users pay for it. All right, guys. So with the shorty, I'm going to extend it. And we can put it straight. Check that out, guys. So I really think this is more of a realistic vlogging setup for it. Um, and something else I want to show you guys. This is my Instamic. I made it white today so you could see it. So that's my Instamic. That's capturing audio. Um, so, whoa. A little side heavy. It's still kind of weird. It's still not. I really feel like I should have put that on the other side. Let's do that. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm taking it off and I'm putting it on the other side. Okay. So now I'm putting it on the other side. So all the weight is coming down this one little leg. Okay, so now that's way more sturdy. Now I don't have to worry about the wind blowing it over. And let's switch over to it. Um, what I like about this mount though is that you can still use the buttons on it. We're gonna start recording. Okay guys, so that's what it's like close up. So you really have to get maybe that far away from it to do a decent talking headshot. And I might just pull it up a little bit. Um, but what's cool about it is it, and it's, it's tracking my face, guys. So I can come over here and talk, and then I can come over here, and it's still tracking my face. So keeping me in the middle of the, the frame is important. You know, if I'm doing these videos and I'm talking to you guys, but I'll also be anxious to see how, how this footage looks. Um, see, it just told me my face tracking was on again. So that tells me that it went off at some point and then came back on. Um, even though I didn't move and the camera didn't move, it was probably okay. All right, guys. So now we're going to go around the park and we're going to vlog using this setup. And I feel like this is going to be a little bit better, but I'm also not sure yet. Okay. So let's try that, guys. All right, guys. So this is the vlogging test with the shorty. Um, I'm still not extremely happy with this, just because I still I don't get any extra. I don't get much extra length. I just kind of lifted it off of myself. So, but we're gonna try this, guys. So, um, as you can see, I look a little bit better now. I don't look as crazy as I did. 
Um, but we're gonna go through here because I don't wanna, I don't want that guy thinking I'm filming him. That's kind of creepy. What I like about this, guys, is that it's small. So we're about to go into a low light situation. So we're gonna see if it just loses my face or what's going on, guys. Um, so this is me, Mike took my Insta mic. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch to Mike, the mic and the camera. So here we go. All right, what do you guys think? I look backlit, but the fact that I have a screen on this guy um, is light years ahead of the last camera. So the last camera I had issues with the last DJI Osmo, the Osmo and the Osmo Plus, I had issues with it overheating after about 10 minutes of use. And all of a sudden it would lose connection to my phone, which was the only way that you could see what you were doing. Um, it would glitch out and I would, um, the reason I had that camera was so that I could film for camp. And I went around, um, you know, and I had all these, I had all these people waiting on me um, and they couldn't, you know, they were just sitting around waiting for my camera to cool down so we could use it again. Um, took great footage. I love like the smooth, you know, the ability to, to capture smooth movement. And the fact that this is tracking my face is pretty sweet. But I still feel like this is pretty close. Um, but it had, you know, it was beautiful smooth footage. But the fact that it overheated was pretty crappy. Um, I want a camera that, the reason I have my Canon camera now is because I was tired of getting all these tiny little cameras that lasted five minutes or last 30 minutes or last, you know, if you want to, if you want, um, you know, a piece of tech to actually function for you, like if I'm walking around the zoo filming with this thing, it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a hot mess. So, all right guys. So this is what it looks like be vlogging. All right, guys, so that's vlogging with the Osmo Pocket. Um, we're gonna go through some of the other features in another video, um, talk about how to hook it up to your phone um, and those types of things. Um, for me, I'm gonna use it by itself. I'm not really gonna plug it up to the phone. So I wish there was a cable or some sort of um, way to use it as an external screen. Um, I also wish there was a wireless uh, functionality in the camera so that I could vlog with it sit it down somewhere and actually track myself. Um, but yeah, I think for the first first installment of the DJI Osmo, the original DJI Osmo had a bunch of issues and they fixed it with, they fixed some of them with the Osmo Plus. So I have a feeling we're getting a plus next year. Um, but it's a really cool little gimbal. It's tiny, it's gonna fit in my pocket. Um, something that's really important is you only use the camera that's on you. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.